what is, so essentially what we're doing is we want to find the Ka of these. So what is... of these weak acids. All right, so what we got to do is the, the point where the pH equals the pKa is halfway to the equivalence point. So the first thing we want to do is try to find the equivalence point. And this is the tough part. And so what we're looking for is that big jump in pH. So that big jump in pH was somewhere in there, right? Maybe a little higher. All right. Right there. I mean, you can draw it on. Not happy with that. A little bit lower on the line. All right. So when I look for that jump. Try to see where it jumped and where it started to fall back off, and then halfway between there. That's my equivalence point. And then I'm going to follow that down. This is better with a ruler to try to figure out where that occurred. All right, so if that's 40, that's 30, that's 35. So what do you think, 37, 38, 38, 39, what are we feeling, 38, 38, I don't want to alienate anybody, okay, so the equivalence point occurs at 38 milliliters, that is better than 37 because we're going to have to divide by 2, and that makes it better if it's even. On my brain. So the halfway point occurs halfway to the equivalence point. That's why we call it the halfway point. Okay, sometimes we try to make sense. All right, so the halfway point would be 38 divided by 2, which is what? 17? 19? See, it still didn't feel that good on my brain. So 19 milliliters. So now we need to find 19 milliliters. So here's 20. So really close. So is that good? 19. So let's follow that up and figure out what pH the solution was at that point. So 19. We're okay. So that 19. So let's follow that over to the pH axes. A little lower. Usually I do this on paper and I break out a ruler and I'm a little bit more exact. On this touchpad, it's a little, it's a little harder. Do the best you can, work with what you got. Apparently we're not happy with that. <laughs> now that's low. I'm sure there is. We're running out of time as it is. That'll take me a long time to figure out. All right, so what do we think? That's six, that's seven. So here's seven. It's seven because of the what do you draw? I don't know about exactly seven. If anything, I'll say it's a little bit higher than my arrow, not lower. 7.2, 7.3? 7.4. 7.4? Let's go in the middle. Let's meet in the middle. 7.3. All right. So the pH at the halfway point equals the pKa, which equals 7.3. Then, well, are we done? We're done. We found the pKa. Yay. Oh, we wanted to find the Ka. Oh. So let's do that. I forgot what I asked. All right, so we got to do a little bit of calculation with these as well. What is the pKa? Well, the pKa equals the negative log of the Ka, right? pKa. 
And so I got to solve for Ka. Let's take the negative of both sides. Negative pKa equals log of the Ka. And then how am I going to get rid of that log? Divide. divide. No, I can't just divide. Raise it, raise it to the 10 power. I've got to take the anti-log, which looks like that. We've got to 10 to the. And that will cancel out that log. And so now I have the Ka equals 10 to the negative pKa. And we just found the pKa down here. So 10 to the negative 7.3 equals... Zero? Yeah. Negative fifth? Yeah. Eighth? Whoa. Yeah. Not hearing correctly. 5.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. That is the Ka.